Hello and welcome back. My name's Necron Lord and when we left off, we killed a balloon. Hey, Norton. Fixed your radio for you. What? You're alive? I'm not gonna lose to a blimp. That'd <laughs> be humiliating. Well, my troop thanks you for your service. Goodbye. Wait. You'll let me know if you find Brill Cream, right? Oh, yes, Brill Cream, of course. We'll keep looking for it. Thank you again. What a douche. Hey. Sam, He's not gonna tell me. Back to our base. There's someone here that wants to talk with you. And she's kind of cute. Mm You know, a huge amount of this game is just traveling around. I mean, it's pretty good that they gave you the free running and everything, because otherwise the game would be incredibly dull. Okay, I don't think I got it. Wrong way. And here we are. Although I didn't know Walter as well as you did, I'd still like to express condolences. So, condolences. New fashions just came in. Not? He upset me. So I'm going to talk to this guy instead. Hey, hey, hey. You know that big parking garage in old little Tokyo? <laughs> it's packed with all kinds of electronics we could totally use. But it's scab turf. You know what? You could lure some OD over there to help take care of the scabs. My sociology prof said passive-aggressive warfare is the future. It, it really isn't. It, it's a clever move, but that does not work on the large scale. I mean, seriously, if everyone did that, then we just have like three different armies just all looking at each other, waiting for the first one to make a move for all eternity. Sometimes there might be a more effective way of getting what you want. Other than shooting everything in the face, that is. I don't know. Shooting things in the face sure does get you what you want a lot. Or it ends up with you getting shot in the face. Depends on the situation. I'm to that robot dog. Damn, that's a lot of sparks. It is a miracle that there was never a stain on my suit. I mean, seriously, I am, I am shooting a lot of things. There is blood everywhere, there are explosions. It's a miracle it's not got any burn or blood marks on it. You made it! Cool! Okay, to lure out the OD, you'll need to smash some vending machines and set off some car alarms. You know, instead of doing all that, couldn't I just, you know, shoot them? I mean, I like the plan, but it just seems overly complicated. And besides, that bar's not going up at all. Okay, I think I just destroyed that card instead of staying off the alarm. 
Yep, I destroyed that one. Okay, I should stop with this now. It's a cool move, but it's really not helping me. Okay, there is some out here, so that's good. I think it's safe to say that this plan has backfired pretty horribly. As now, not only do I have scabs trying to kill me, but I have OD trying to kill me, and crazy futuristic robots. Seriously, it would have been a lot easier just to kill the scabs. And I mean, in this situation, you're most likely to be killed in the crossfire. Ooh, big OD. Alright, time for the TNT, Betty. Teddy. Hmm, where can I find some food? There's not a lot of enemies left, so... I should survive this, but I should find food just for safe sake. Okay, there we go. Oh, damn. That hammer ability is pretty badass. How was that not violent? I turned the skirmish into an all-out war zone. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna say right now, the biggest downside to all this free running, despite the fact it's quite fun and it is quite cool, you, you always gotta listen to the same background music. And after a while it gets a bit repetitive. My name is Forkin. Hey, 
Sorry about that whole banished from the troop thing. It's for the best. Troopmaster Norton is a bad guy. Even though he says he's trying to find Brill Cream, he's not. I overheard him whisper something about Troopmaster Brill Cream at the hot dog factory. I hear this Brill Cream guy is really smart. He's a genius. A genius that might be trapped in a hot dog factory? Is there any other kind? I'm worried. He's been missing for a couple of weeks. We'll find him. You mean I'll find him? Someone has to stay here and comfort <laughs> him. Right. Keep up the good work, Sam. You know, good for, good for him. Good for him, he's trying. Alright, he says he's got a new gun. Let's see what they got. No, no. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure which to get. Yeah, I'll get this one. Oh, it really hurts to let that one go so cheap. Actually, I better make sure I got the ammo. Nope. Oh, damn it! Wrong thing. Besides me, of course. Who had Jack is not for sale. So what's the deal with the hot dog factory? You're trying to survive the apocalypse. Hot dogs are the last thing you should eat. Troop Master Brill Cream is a master at boosting morale. Maybe he thought a hot dog cookout would lift the spirits of the troop. Oh, that's funny, because I prefer to lift my spirits with actual yeah. spirits. Alcohol is a depressant and has many health risks. You're right. Better to eat processed piglets and assholes. Besides, this meat probably went off. Okay. I'm at the hot dog factory. Signs of Ooh. Uh, scabs. And it looks like they decided to upgrade their arms. Well, luckily, so have I. Where did they get those new weapons? They're not smart enough to do Oh, no, that's just harsh. You might have to deal with some scabs while you look for evidence. Now, fork him, that's just very judgmental. One of these scabs could have been an astrophysicist or anything, for all you know. Can't judge these people based on how they dress or how they speak. They could have had real potential before all this happened. Besides, they were smart enough not to drink the uh, overdrive and get infected. That takes, a, that takes a limited measure of intelligence to survive the apocalypse in that manner. Not anymore. But we need more evidence. Found a Japanese sword. Not something a troop leader would have. Yeah, seems weird, doesn't it? But it could be real creeps. He never went anywhere without it. I feel like that could have been useful intel to have at the top of this caper. I think we just need one more piece of evidence. You guys sure do things by the book, don't you? Troop Master Brill Cream teaches us that discipline is the most important thing. No. Discipline. Yeah, I'm unfamiliar with that word. Just no to that. Oh no. It's those female scabs. When are they gonna let it go that I set that horrible thing? Let's see how I'm going to do that. Alright, maybe there's an entrance on the roof. Drill Cream is a trained survivalist. He may have locked himself inside. See if you can find a way to bust down a door, or even a wall. Okay, I can't break the glass on the roof. Ooh, I found this though. I don't see any construction equipment. That might help you get inside. To be honest, why would a hot dog factory have construction equipment around it? What? Oh wait, there it is.
All right. No keys. Wait, cranes have keys? Huh. What would Batman do? Probably read this note <laughs> out loud. Meet me in the park for a picnic. I love you. Well, that's helpful. I'm going to the park mm, park I do park. like picnics. And maybe even have a date. <laughs> Hey, poor Kim. Sam's not being too annoying, is he? Not anymore. He kept trying to hold my hand, so I put my judo badge into action and snared him in a row. Oh, that's harsh. Nice. But go easy on him. I get the sense he doesn't have much experience with the ladies. Well, he's been a perfect gentleman since. He showed me around. I met his friends. He even taught me how to do a little C++ coding. Wow. You're going to invite me to the wedding. I love free food. Wait, what? I wonder why all these uh, troop people have such weird names. I mean, seriously, Brill Cream, Four Kim, Norton. I know it's an actual name, but it's just a very odd one. Oh, this looks convenient. Okay, I found the picnic site. Looks like the crane guy either turned OD or was mauled. Damn, Take those keys to the crane. Maybe they're in the picnic basket. He turned OD. Go kill some and see if any of them have the key. Ah, that's what I need. Fisco box. Why is Fisco doing something now? Bam. Yes, got it. I've seen a lot of robbers, but not a lot of OD. Damn it, where are they? I'm starting to realize this gun isn't that good. Ooh, the OD. No, he didn't have the key. Aha, he's dead. And still no key. Okay, I'm starting to see more roadies, so that's good. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Damn, I missed. Ooh, damn, we got the free ones as well. Ah, I did it. Now, let's have a look at my traps. For no reason.
Oh, I can put an amp in one of my weapons. Unfortunately, I have no amps left. Damn. Yep. I'm gonna upgrade some of this stuff, actually. And there we go. That's a big ass key. I would. Hey, Fort Kim, you there? Yes. Indeed, I did. Yeah, but I have something more important to talk about. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think of Sam? Really? I don't know why. He kind of reminds me of this class turtle we had in fourth grade. We set him free in the ocean one day. Then we found out later <laughs> he was a freshwater turtle. Don't tell Sam that story. Why would the teacher admit that? I mean, at a young age, that's kind of that's kind of going to screw him up, isn't it? I thought at that kind of age, what teachers would do is that they just like pretend nothing happened. All right, let's get to using this crane. Why were there overcharged deliveries here? Oh, that one's about to blow. Yeah, I really think it would work more if I just lowered this enough and started swinging it around like a madman. That way I could just be like, smashing everything. Yeah, I had a four. Is overcharge flammable? Because if so, couldn't I just like, you know, light a fire and let it burn? Or, you know, instead of wasting all this time, quickly smash the door while I have the chance. And then let that act as a diversion. Oh, crap. Oh, shit, he's coming right for me. Oh, damn, he died easily, though. This is actually quite fun. I will admit. Alright, I can notice that it's getting slightly smaller as it goes. Ooh, damn, three of them. Boom. Okay, I think it's dried in. Ooh, scabs. 
Ooh, it's not fun. Moin. Found a note from Brill Cream. It's dated two weeks ago. What does it say? It says, hot dog spoiled, heading to Hepcats to meet Norton. Scabs on my trail, we'll try to lose them. Let's meet at Hepcats and look for more clues. Yeah. I knew it, it, it was involved somehow. But wouldn't it be kind of obvious that they'd be spoiled? I mean, they're not refrigerated or anything. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.